Hello and welcome back to Battletech Career Mode. Once again, we are doing another Flashpoint. We seem to be alternating them these days, which I quite like. And it is the Tournament of Champions, which is only a two skull one, but there is quite the catch, I can assure you, in the uh, opening mission. Uh, before we get started, by the way, the system's called Cluff's Stand as well. Uh, right, before we get started, let's not look at the contracts. That's not what I wanted to look at. It was the mech bay. So we have traveled all the way down here. I did some shopping on the way and all that. And uh, yeah, have a little look at what we've got going on here. You might notice some mechs are back up and running, including the new one. I did in fact pick up that legendary griffin. And this is what I have done with it. I've gone ahead and given it two lasers. Well, that's all it's got room for. A medium pulse. 50 damage and a large laser treble plus the extra damage accuracy that thing's going to hit every time um, yeah that's quite nice actually then it's got uh, two SRM6s and an SRM4 however I am considering decommissioning the Shadow Hawk so we can have the better SRM6s plus four plus four and two what do these have plus four the stability damage uh, to be honest I'm more interested in the raw damage actually so maybe that's not what I want to do it's got three jump jets. I'm tempted to remove the SRM4 altogether and add in an extra two, and then maybe slap on a heat sink or something, or maybe we just go for an SRM2 and add in the two jump jets. That way it behaves in a very similar way to the Shadow Hawk. So if I was to decommission it, this, then that is what I would do with the Griffin here. Very heat efficient. It does 284 damage, which by the way, 296 is almost the same amount of damage as the Grasshopper, which weighs 15 tons more. And have a look at the difference between that and the Shadowhawk. 184. It's a full 100 more that this thing does. Uh, so this is now our star medium mech. Well, we'll find out this playthrough, I think, today. Uh, that's kind of the objective today, really. Also, if you have a little look in the store, we can also see some nice things in the black market. The thing that caught my eye the most is the LBX-20. Sorry, the LB-20X, whatever. I always was LBX-20. Not LB20X. Am I, am I reading this wrong? I don't know. But minus two tons plus four all stability damage. Yeah, I think we kind of, we're definitely using that. And I think the King New Crab is going to get a, a refit already, even though it's not even done. Uh, but that's fine. Also, have a look at this for half a mil. You can see across the whole damn map with that thing. I think we're going to have to slap that on the Grasshopper and then maybe the 100 on something else. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Right, you guys came here to see a flashpoint, so here's a flashpoint. Alright, Tournament of Champions. Your deeds on the battlefield have earned you an invitation to my Tournament of Champions. Join us and take your place in the arena against the periphery's fiercest warriors. For a cash prize of one million space dollars. Well, I oh, couldn't say no to that, could I? Let's do it. I'm sure there's no catch whatsoever. Professor Mincius Horvat. Ah, Commander Chimpy, very good. I was hoping you'd accept my invitation. I am Professor Mencius Horvat, and you are to be congratulated. Only the most celebrated of mercenary companies are allowed to participate in my tournament of champions. Yeah, thanks. Remind me, what are we what what we stand to gain by winning this thing? Never mind that, I want to know what he's wearing. That's a seriously bold look, Professor. I don't even know what I'm seeing here. What you're seeing, Mr. Vertinen, is the hide of a Black Reaper, a savage beast, the apex of the apex predator of Yance One, and a killer of men. I put an end to this one myself, tracked it for days, stalked it, and lanced it through the heart with a single thrust. The hide is thick as rubber, yet soft as a lover's caress. The fur is as luxuriant as it is fragrant. Indeed, this coat is absolutely pregnant with the beast's indelible musk. I'm suddenly overjoyed we aren't speaking to you in person. Now let's get back to that prize purse. How big is it? One million sea bills. Winner takes all. Of course, that means there will be no intermediary payouts. Eliminated competitors will walk away with nothing, assuming they walk away at all. Arena combat is rich with peril. It can easily swallow the unwary. Peril doesn't scare me. So you say for now. We'll see if you sing a different tune when you're scraping a prized mech warrior out of a ruined cockpit. 
Red Death and the Arena Floor are constant companions. But if you speak truly, if you are a hunter of men, and you will find much to love in my tournament. For those bold enough to follow our rif rif rarified path, risk is what gives a life its flavor, its succulence. Do you salivate the thought of victory, Commander? Well, I salivate because I'm talking too much. That's that's all. Does the prospect of taking all, all comers and breaking them make your heart hammer in your chest? Uh, no, but the uh, sea bill sounds good. Spoken like a true mercenary. If profit is what drives you, I won't ask you to pretend otherwise. Indeed, I encourage you to look at your opponents as speed bumps on the road to prosperity. Pave them flat and claim the reward that is your due. What are the rules of this tawny of yours? Are there drop weight restrictions, tonnage requirements? The Tournament of Champions has no need for such guidelines. In fact, your battle mechs won't be required at all. To ensure a level playing field, I insist that all competitors pilot hardware drawn from my own stable. St uh, stock mechs bear a fit of embellishment of all modifications. Wow, I butchered that, didn't I? What if we want to use our own mechs? Then you'll be disappointed. I'm afraid this rule is inviable. You should attempt to deploy your own battle mechs while the tournament is in session. No, should you attempt, your lives will be forfeit. My enforcer, the man monster Calamar Gigante, will tear you apart. Man monster, well. You know, let's just get a little shiver just now, because I did. So long as you honor my master's rules, you have nothing to fear from me. But if you step out of line, I will wrap you in my terrible grasp and squeeze a life from your chest. I won't stop until I've ground your bones to mulch. For that is the crushing power of Calamar Gigante. He isn't exaggerating, Commander. I once saw Gigante strangle a man and his horse at the same time. Enough talk, though. You know the stakes, and you understand the risks. Now it is time to make a decision. Accept my contract and I will test your mech warriors in a crucible of blood and thunder. Join us if you dare. The Tournament of Champions awaits, awaits, awaits. Little bit of uh, embellishment, hmm? Yes, a romantic interest with his coat, yes. It, it wasn't you. But if this contest is legit, we stand to win a lot of money. Yeah, we can get a mill doing a couple of contracts. And because of Horvat's insisting on supplying the hardware, we won't even have to put our own mechs on the line. In light of what we stand to gain, who cares if our host is a little eccentric? Nobody, I guess. I'll get our mech warriors ready. Let's go win ourselves a tournament. Alright. Here we go. So... What mechs are we using? Well, here we go. Welcome to my tournament, Commander. Here you approve. Today, your mech warriors will demonstrate their worth using only the simplest of tools, the UMR-60 Urban Mech. Like a huntsman spear, it is an instrument of a single purpose. Wield it skillfully and ascend into triumph. It would have been great to have Flapjack, wouldn't it, here? <laughs> he absolutely owned in that mech. Uh, so yes, everybody is in an Urban Mech. So we are going to need a very particular... Uh, list of people so anybody with breaching shot is always a good shout so augustus and i think sheriff we've got headhunter for the cooled shots potentially and i'm thinking uh just for the the, the diary entry <laughs> yeah that's it all right there we go 120 tons this is that is ludicrous uh, right, so this might be one of the more difficult missions we've done in a while, potentially, because of the uh, the restrictions, so looking forward to seeing how this goes. Right, so the Erby is basically a walking dustbin with a mounted AC-10. That auto cannon packs a hell of a punch, but it's only got eight shots. Keep an eye on those ammo counters, Commander. So we do have to sort of be wary of the uh, number of shots we have. We It may even come down to using melee a little bit. Um, I do think they all have a small laser as well, so we can get some finishing shots potentially just by coming in and going for the, you know, the punch. And I should point out all of our enemies, they're all using urban mechs too, it's strictly urbies on the map. So, we don't need to be worried that we're going to be up against something bigger, at least I don't think so. It's been a long time since I've watched, uh, it was, uh, I think it was Deravis playthrough. That was about, I think it was the start of the year, January. January or February I watched it, so it's been a long time, so I don't really remember a massive amount of details about this flashpoint. It's one of the only ones I watched, just to sort of get an idea of what a flashpoint bloody was. Command 
Interface initiated. Mech warriors, you stand alone in the carcass of an abandoned city. This sepulchre of commerce is now reborn as a hunting ground and field of battle. All at the command of my master, Professor Mencius Horvatz. You honor me, Gargante, I am pleased. To our guests, I bid you welcome. Ready yourselves to test your might in my Tournament of Champions. Commander Chimpy, today your lands will face off against four of the deadliest killers in the rim the rim world periphery has to offer. Two of these terrorists stand before you now. The rest lurk in the shadows like predators on the hunt, waiting for an exposed flank or a bared throat. If you drop your guards, they'll eat you alive. They won't get the chance, Professor Horvath. I'll butcher these amateurs before your lurking predators even show their faces. I am the Terror of Franck, the Scourge of the Socomonte. I am Limpet Saito. And I'm his brother, Jake. Gosh, this is like something out of a Brock Armstrong flick. Very cheesy. I know, it's great. <laughs> and so the table is set. At one end, Commander Chimpy's battle-hardened mercenaries. At the other... A, lone, a throng of deadly lone wolves, each bound to the other by their shared lust for victory. Let the air be filled with the bark of autocannon fire. Let the ground thunder with your approach. Let the tournament begin. Er, er, er. All right, let's go. <laughs> Enough chit chat. So yeah, we've got AC turns, eight rounds, small lasers as well. Yes, Commander. Off we go. A battle ult does Very indeed await. So, eliminate Limpet Sato and his brother Jake. So they are a duo. Alright, made contact. Hostile on sensors. On my way. Move into position. And these things are slow, so we cannot we can't even build up much evasion. Your attention, please. We have a latecomer en route to join our tournament. Consider her a wild card, if you will. When her drop pod hits the ground, I expect she'll attempt to butcher the lot of you. I advise you to deny her the opportunity. Kill her before she kills you. Commander. Okay. Sir, uh, do the usual reserve. I love that we can have um, Headhunter go first. That actually separates Waiting him from the order. field. That would have been good maybe to have Slicer then. I don't think I want to do anything too rash here. I think what we want to do is actually bulwark, brace, stuff like that. Well, they're not going to be able to make it, are they? So if we actually go like... Yeah, that's fine. Can still go in here actually because then we can jetpack how many what's the jetpack range might be good enough actually and that's what i should be doing okay moving lightning fast okay heads up commander that drop pod must belong to the wild card contestants Horvat warned us about very perceptive miss Bayer. I did just announce it, but yes, very perceptive all the same. I caught this young lady stooping around the tournament grounds. She claimed that I am responsible for the death of her father. You are responsible, you son of a bitch, and by my hand, he will be avenged. I admire your grit, Miss Jones, but if you want a shot at me, you'll need to fight your way out of the arena first. Kill or be killed. Let the games continue. Yeah, what's up, Doc? Okay, that's kind of good for us, potentially. Again, reserve. Wait for the moment to strike. Ah, uh, it has begun. Yes, come All right, on. everybody. Let's go. Hi there. You are braced though, I don't like that. 
shot wise. The main thing is disabling that AC-10, right? Mean debuff. Okay. 50, 40. At the same sort of... Yeah, I think we'll go for... Firing a full salvo. This. I don't know what you hit there. Ready to get it on. Yeah, let's get let's get in here. Okay, you're coming from this side. Sheriff. See how you That was a miss. That's not good, is it? Good to go. That's not good. Hmm. Awaiting order. Fortunately no way to contribute there. Here we go. Yeah, here, here. Lifting off. Hello? We are going to go for the precision strike here. Target nice! Right torso down! Okay, so if the AC-10 out, that basically means you're right for uh, getting wrecked, son. That's what you're right for. What we are going to do, I think... Jump here, because then you can sort of potentially get a nice cheeky shot around the back here, or... Yeah, I think the evasion will help more than anything right now. So you're ready to go. Oh, you can go again. Of course you can. I keep forgetting that. Do you know what? You, we've got you kind of under control. Our best bet here is to do something nasty with this. Here we go. Look at this. Oh my gosh, are you serious right now? We can't get the kill though. It's only just 60. So we want to get the... Uh, Left torso, rear. Right torso, rear. Yes. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Never mind. Ugh. Reporting negative damage. Okay. A little bit of uh, fighting going on amongst themselves. Sounds like they're hitting. Commander. Waiting for orders. What if you did come in and do something? I don't know. Maybe try and keep a little bit of distance. I definitely can get up here, so... Roger. That was good. Alright. What are we looking at? Not really the... That's not really ideal, is it? Mm, what's going on over here? 24... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna... Jetpack up here. It. It's down. Alright. Enemy down. How might I help? Can you maybe come around here? I think that's maybe what we do. Go for a little flanking maneuver potentially. Okay, Sato going for the shot. On the left arm there. I'm taking internal damage. Let's go. Got something you want done? You bet I do. Alright. Moving to position. Alright, come on then. I mean, maybe we just go for it. I think we should play it cautiously, though. Looked like a leg shot there. I think I hit something good. You jump, jumping down. They're all fighting amongst themselves again back there. Oosh. Okay. Confirmed. We need as many good shots as possible. That's a center torso shot. Let's take him out. Nice. Let the people of Frank sleep easy. The brothers Sato are dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I keep changing his voice. <laughs> Whatever. Ready. 
Hey there. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's uh, let's get moving. All in Sheriff on the move. Reporting. Augustus as well. Around that way or this way? I'm actually leaning towards mm, this way. Throttle down, moving out. And just get moving, see if you can get a cheeky shot in a future turn. Oh, I don't like that. Actually, that's no, fine. Roger that. Okay. I don't know, maybe gone for the building, but you know, whatever. Damn. Ready for orders. I'm sure it's a crazy battle that's going on over there. Aye, aye. What's he doing? Didn't sound so nice for somebody. That's a building going down. How's it going? Sheriff, yeah, safe to move Sheriff and he's still got full Copy armor. I think I might keep Battle Axe kind of out of it just to be on the safe side here. What's the plan? The plan is to get you... Yeah, 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 we're almost at that point where we can... Get you up there, right. There's no rush here, not while they're fighting amongst themselves. That's it, coming off the punches and all that. Damn, these guys all kind of suck, really. Waiting for the shot. <laughs> Yes. Alright. I'm liking where this is heading so far. Standing by. Standing by. Could do this. I think we'll do this. Behold, Commander Chimpy, the stalking predators reveal themselves. Ah You've got that right, Professor. I'm Basilisk Jackson. And I'm the meanest mech jock on this or any other planet. I'm going to put these fools in the ground. Wow, don't know about you, but I'm quaking in my boots. Light them up. Uh, race. All right. Exciting stuff. Let's hold up here. While they're finding us themselves, like I say, there is just no point in doing anything yet. Uh, I think a left, isn't it? Yeah, you'd be all right. We can, I guess, stay here. Yeah. On the move, full speed. We've got the building there as cover. Okay. Again. Damn, they sure are taking their time. <laughs> Kinda wanna watch it. Maybe I should just sensor lock everybody Ready at the start order. of uh, my turn. Uh, yeah, is this it? Is this the moment where we kind of come out of the shadows? Waiting for orders. Uh, I want Augie in there as well though. Alright. So we hold one more turn. Oh, we can see one. It's that Diane. Dianth. What's up, boss? Orders? Might as well just stand here and take the shot, right? Roger that. There we go. There goes your AC-10. I think I hit something good. We just need to neuter everyone. That's that's all we need to do here. All right. Position confirmed. Let's see if we could do the same here. 
60 damage, right? So I'm going to go for this. Copy that. Ooh, that was a good shot. Yes, Commander. Yeah, right arm. So there we go. That's right facing. And one more. On Not quite. Ready to get That's it okay though. Do you know who can do it? <laughs> there it goes. Lovely, right. Report that leaves one mech there with an AC-10 still. <laughs> no, uh, none of them. None of them have... <laughs> Oh, this is woeful. This is just woeful. Seriously. Come on, then. Affirmative. <laughs> Fire. Right leg gone. That hit something good. It's quite fun being on a level ish playing field. I mean, we outnumber them, don't get me wrong, so it's only so level you can really argue. Uh, what can you see? That was a miss. You hit the ground. Well, I guess it's no surprise, actually. Yes, Commander. All right, look who can join in here. Oh, I understand. Here he is, Augustus, with the flank. I can see shot to the back here. If he gets that, that's a kill. Got the angle. Take Looks like he shot. hit the leg. Ooh! My master would be assess. My master's would be assassin has fallen, but still she lives. Her ejection pod has saved her, but for how long? So she ejected. Ooh. Back warriors, show them what you got. All right, guys, come on. Uh, so let's close this out. Can we? Can we? Can we do something like this? Locked on. Okay. Ready for orders. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Both legs gone. Target neutralized. Needs a waiting order. Right, let's see. Yeah, uh, you can't quite get a shot on his back there. So we'll just do this then, I suppose. Firing. Oh, right torso down. Hit. That was a great shot. Standing by. Copy that. All right, over here. Giving them everything I've got. Good. And again. Got something you want done? I do indeed. And you can actually also move in just a bit closer, pushing back a turn. I mean, you've not really got any hope here, do you, buddy? Sure. Target's taking a critical hit. Receiving you. Mm. Uh, yeah. Roger that. <laughs> We're just gonna take you apart limb by limb. <laughs> Commander? Right. A knockdown, so your mobility's even worse. <laughs> Oh wow, uh, a nervy mech with low mobility. Oh no, that's it! Behold, Professor. Basilis Jackson and his partner are down. Their battle mechs shattered, their bodies torn to bloody rags. It's glorious, Gigante. A display fit for a king! Well, there you go. Well done, Commander Chimpy. Very well done, indeed. 
You have taken this round and vanquished your foes. I haven't tapped out yet, Horvat. You'll never hear me yield. You don't need to yield. You've lost and you'll be spending the remainder of this tournament in a holding cell. Thank you, Gigante. To this round's victors, I invite you to bask in your triumph. But prepare yourselves for tomorrow. You'll face the ultimate challenge. Tomorrow, your true test begins. Mission successful. So there we go. There's our little warm-up. But what is in store for us is the question. Right. So there we go. We won the first round of the tournament. No injuries. Doesn't matter what happened to the mechs. <laughs> Hey, we get a little part of an urban wreck. <laughs> sure, whatever, I'll take it. Alright. Tournament of Champions. So far, so good, boss. I think we could win this tournament. So far, so good, Yang? This whole tournament is positively mental. Horvat and his cronies have thrown up more red flags than a Curitan military parade. I mean, I'm preaching to the choir here, right? You do all get how ridiculous this is. No arguments here, dog. Well, that's a lunatic, and our fellow competitors aren't much better. Speak of the devil, we're getting a secure call from inside Horvat's castle. It's Jackhammer. You remember the I'm here to avenge my father lady? Uh, the one that Gigante threw in a cell after the match. I'm surprised they let her have access to a comm system. Put her on screen. Commander Chimpy, I wasn't sure that you'd pick up. I need to keep this brief. If Horvat catches me talking over this subdermal mic, he'll probably put a spear through my chest. But I'm taking the risk because we need to talk. This is about your father. My father is alive and well on Leamington. The whole vengeance shtick is just a cover story. The truth is I'm an undercover operative with the MIIO. So the Ministry of Information, Intelligence and Operations. This is uh, an internal security arm of the Federated Sons Intelligence Community. Okay. I'm here to investigate Horvat's crimes against Davian commercial interest. He's a pirate in case you hadn't figured that out. He also wants to marry his fur coat. Why should we care? <coughs> the Tournament of Ch Champions is a sham. The whole circus is a sick joke that Horvat uses to sniff out highly skilled, morally flexible mech warriors. He reveres strength and wants to surround himself with it, but his standards are impossibly high. The second round of the tournament is a trap. If you're good enough to push through and win anyway, the professor will shower you in blood money to buy your friendship. If he finds you, want if he finds you wanting, he'll kill you for the sport. Will he use a spear? He'll use whatever he demo pleases. He's a pirate. He doesn't play by anyone's rules, especially not his own. The professor has been running his, this contest for years, and in that time, the only actual winner has been Calamar Gigante. Everyone else, we're talking hundreds of contestants here, has mysteriously disappeared, and if you let your mech warriors compete again, he'll make them disappear too. Okay, so I'm getting there. Our options aren't great. They really, really aren't. But fortunately for you, I'm here, and I've been authorised to offer you an alternative. House Davian granted me the authority to draft a kill order for Professor Mancius Horvat. I'd like your company to carry out the contract. Hmm. I get to find a way into Horvat's payroll. Give me the details, I'm listening. I want you to break the rules of the tournament's tomorrow. Instead of piloting a couple of busted old up old Erbies, you'll drop your heaviest lance right on Horvat's head. When the kill has been confirmed, I'll transfer 250 million C bills to your company's account. You'll also have the thanks of the Federated Sons, of course. Now Stavin does not forget his friends. You only quarter of a mil? I'm no mathematician, but it feels a lot less than the actual million Harvard's uh, offering. You don't get the prize purse unless you win, and you won't win. That's what I've been telling you. He'll cheat. Oh, sorry. Uh, he'll kill your mech warriors, and you'll walk away if nothing, even if you do somehow manage to beat him. You won't like what happens next. He'll pay you, sure, but cozying up to Horvat will land you on the list of every pirate-hating client on the galaxy. That means everyone, the successor state, the peripheries, you name it. Nobody likes a pirate. I've made you an, uh, a fair offer, Commander, for the good of House Davian and the mer uh, merchant in the Rimwell periphery. You need to take down Mentius Horvat. I don't know when we're going to get another opportunity like this. Okay, beat him at his own game. Or take the operative. I'm inclined to take the operative here because everybody's insane. He just reeks of, uh, <laughs> he kind of reminds me of like, he's like an evil pirate Brian Blessed. His stories are absolutely ludicrous. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with, uh, I don't trust him at all either. Okay, he's going down. Good choice, Commander. Good choice. I'll, I'll take the field myself and join you, but something tells me I'm stuck in this cage until the fight's over. 
do me a favor and win this thing and I'll make the whole debacle worth your while. Alright, we're going to do some mech repairs. Uh, are we? Are you sure about that? Tournament of Champions, part two. So, right, uh, yeah, there's nothing there. So, yes, drop your heaviest lance in. We're not going to do that. We're going to drop in a griffin. A, oh yeah. Um, maybe a hatchetman. Maybe this. And maybe... Oh, <laughs> I know where this is going, actually. Yeah, we're just going to wait till everybody goes, and then we're going to wreck them with everything else here. That is so what we're doing. Uh, which makes me think maybe we should go for the Blackjack, actually, rather than the Hatchetman. Stuff that can shoot. And yeah, that seems like a nice way to go. But who is going to take the field? Well, Sonya, I think, can handle the Griffin there. Uh, Lifeblood, obviously, can have the Centurion. We will put... Hmm, where's Abattoir? Abattoir was... I remember... Do you remember early days? Abattoir used to handle the Blackjack. Good times, man. He was uh, he was really strong in that mech. And I'm thinking maybe we go Slicer in the Cataphrat. So I guess the initiative should go early if needs be. So they all go in the same phase. That's actually quite good. Yeah, we're going to go like this. Not sure what to expect. Maybe I'm going in two lights, but let's do it. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. It's a ghost mech down there. Um, so, Chimper, you have elected to violate the rules of my tournament. Oh no! Look, it's a little urban mech <laughs> animation. That's so cool. You've decided to kill me, perhaps, to take on the great hunter in his den, something like that. What a welcome diversion this is, truly glorious. I had intended to challenge your mech warriors when the tournament was finished, as is my custom to put them in the final test. Instead, you've proved me with a full lance to quarry, to hunt down and slaughter. We'll enjoy this, won't we, Gigante? As, as you say, Professor Horvat, when we enter the arena, I will personally rend these overconfident fools limb from quivering limb. There you have it, Commander. Something to look forward to. Between now and then, I present you with the remaining contestants of the Tournament of Champions. I'm sure they'll keep you occupied until our drop pods arrive. Well. Time we saw some concrete. <laughs> not touching grass, are we? No, no we're not. Alright, let's sort of... Uh, go up here. We've All got right. an unknown on sensor. We'll bring you here, Got it. and you can come in, uh, let's see, here, there we go, everybody's in, lovely. You're about to have company, Commander, Horvata Gigante, their drop pods have almost reached the AO. They're coming in there, are they? Oh, this is a, look at this arena, this is a good spot for a fight. Okay. What's up, boss? So they've all gone, meaning we can now take our shots here. Only the large laser can reach. However, we go a bit closer. Confirmed. We can up these percentages as well. Oh, they've got broken mechs too. That's just rude, you know. That's just rude, right giving ahead. them broken mechs. Right, right torso does not exist. Yeah. A blackjack. Hmm. Go. Come over here. Maybe you do just sort of yeah, multi-target. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Send a torso gone. Gosh, this is ridiculous. It's just plain rude, is what it is. All right. Come over here. Take the shot. That was pretty nice, actually. 
We need to make sure everybody's still in it. End of the turn. Yeah, there we go. Coordinates received. Very good. Roger that. <laughs> All right. Enemy down. And they're gone. So, say goodbye to your mech warriors, Commander. We'll bleed them like lambs, Gigante and I. Okay, oh, here we go. Lancer 4, this is it. Question is... Ready for orders. What's going to happen? We need a reserve here. Okay, that's two. They're guarding. They just don't know what to do yet. So who's in what? Receiving. Let's have a little look. We've got Mencius Horvat in that. Yeah. And Centurion. Uh, that's Calamante. And they've got a couple of urban mechs. Just sort of guards, as it were. All right. Well, I guess we'll start with... Uh, yeah, we're going to take the fallback strategy here. That's for sure. In fact, we can do it like this. That's even better. Oh, yes. Here we go. Right, some structures already been exposed. I wouldn't mind doing this, then. Take the shots. A lot more armor gun. Yeah, yeah, good work, good work. Yeah, commander. On my way. All right, not bad. Now let's carry on. Still going strong. Yes, commander. Get back in here. Okay. Right, can we get this done? Alright, left torso's at least gone. Inflicted some heavy damage. Okay. The urban mechs will reserve. And we will get to go again. What's up, Commander? Believe the Yeah, you've got two pips. So we can take the shot here with the cataphrat and still remain concealed. Not just that, we're also going to bring the line back a little bit. Just a touch. Heading out. Everyone's still in it. <laughs> this is so funny. On, there he goes. Mech destroyed. Oh yeah. I've been sensor locked. Ooh, cheeky. Alright then. You can sense a lot, can ya? Lifting off. Right, since you're going to be a bit of a target, let's go Vigilance. See what we can do here. Damn, those lasers, even guarded, they do some nice damage. Oh, you okay? You're okay. Yes, Commander. Think maybe you want to lend a hand here? Reserve, though. It's a straight up miss. Didn't hit the building, thankfully. Good to go. Roger that. Okay. All weapons are go. Left side, not right side, but Found still. Connection on that one. Standing by. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Look at this. I'll get rid of you. Target eliminated. Okay, good. Oh. That's an issue. Commander. I think it's time to eliminate you then. Oh yeah. That's so what we're doing. On it. Ow. 
Oh, we can just get rid of this, I think. Yeah. And you're down. And we're cloaked. <laughs> Not so fast, yeah? They've got a lock on me. I wouldn't worry, dude. They can't take a shot at you, so, uh, yeah. Giving them everything I've got. Alright, softening yep. him up. Do this. Copy that. Oh yes. Solid connection on that one. Kind of expected a bit more resistance, to be honest, but uh, I'm not complaining. No complaints. I'm not. I swear, I'm not complaining. That's all very fine to me. And we'll do same sort of thing again. Yeah, we can only really do this. Oh, and even knock down. Then, well, I think the Griffin. That's it. I mean, this is it. This is it. Game over. Thank you and good night. <laughs> Obliterated. And now you no longer have to hear those stupid voices ever again. Right, there's a small army of Federation freight captains out here who'll suit a whole lot easier at night. What is supposed to do work for the MIO? Speaking of which, I believe you have a substantial amount of money. Yes, ma'am. I do, and as soon as the MIIO finishes springing me from this prison cell, I'll be happy to settle up. The MIO? Should I call them the MIO? Not the MIO? I. Right. Come on, show me the stuff. Big fat zero. Very nice. Uh, okay, we actually get choice of some loot here. There's not really anything there. You figured maybe they'd have some good armaments, you know, but they didn't. <sighs> right. Do we take the urban mech? The urban mech? The urban mech? Or the urban mech? Yeah. That one will do. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. All right. It can, it can get out of here. And so can this one. Right, Tournament of Ch yeah. Tournament of Champions 3. Very well done, Commander. Very well done indeed. I've sent a wire to Lady Cunningham informing her of your assistance and requesting a quarter of a million sea bills for services render. You can expect your payment directly. What's next for you, Agent Jones? Got another pirate organisation to bust up. Eventually, I've got about a month's worth of paperwork to submit before I can get back out into the field. Well, that's been hijacking defence shipments for years, stockpiling battle mechs that were intended for the defence of House Tavian's outer colonies. You should see his armoury, it's like an urban mech graveyard in there. Must be a beautiful sight. Man, I love those ridiculous little creatures. Tell you what, I'm technically overstepping my authority by doing this, but I'm going to authorise the transfer of some of those Irby parts from the armoury to your dropship. You did me a solid and it's unlikely that they'll be missed. I'll be damned, Christmas just came early. You're, you're right, Agent Jones. I'd like to think so, and now if you'll excuse me, I need to go. Gotta get back to the tournament site before anyone notices that Jackhammer is gone. This is a special day for her. After all, her father is finally avenged. Good for her, glad for we, we could help. So is she, Commander, so is she. Ah, there we go. This didn't turn out so bad. We got a good we got out of the tournament in one piece, gained some clout with Faust Davian, and got a nice chunk of Irby for our trouble. Could have gone a whole lot worse. Next time we could perhaps do our due diligence and make absolutely certain that the person we're fighting isn't a mercenary hunting psychopath. We all knew that Horvat was a little off when he, we decided to enter the tournament, Doctor. No need to rub salt in the wound. Come on everyone, let's prep the Argo for travel. We're getting out of here. There it is. Quarter of a mil sea bills and... A part of an Irby. And uh, two parts of a Wolverine. Not so good laser. The arm mod's not too bad. One ton for a bit, you well, know, that's not amazing. The exchanger could be really good, actually. Actually, that exchanger, that's the best thing we've got here. That mech you yeah. is back online. All right. So they're back into storage. I miss our Wolver Wolverine, it was pretty good, actually. All right, so there we go. Everybody doing splendidly. That is the end of that. I think let's go to the store and have a little look at the black market 
any other mechs for sale here, there's just the same stuff really. I would be interested in getting the Cyclops, you know. I mean, this can sort of act as uh, the fact that it bolsters... What does it do again? I've completely forgotten. Plus one initiative for the entire lands. That's no joke. Doesn't it do something? Does it do anything else as well? Yeah, that's just... I mean, that's that's ridiculous. So does that... And it stacks as well, which means the... We could have the Marauder... Or any, any mech headhunters in go in, like, the medium turn phase. <laughs> um... No, light. Light phase. That is disgusting, actually. Oh my gosh. Uh, right, any sort of cheap stuff like that. Oh, the two. Oh, yeah, sure, I'll take it. The large pulse. Kind of do want that. Hmm. LRM15, not bad. Medium pulse. That's no joke either. It's a lot less heat for very little, for much like, like less damage. I think we have to sort of take these sorts New of mechs, right? Available. Uh, that weighs kind of a lot. Uh, we're also taking... I've already bought the LBX too, haven't I? 20, sorry. UAC2. Am I using these? I already have like a couple of them, right? Doesn't it say how many I have somewhere? You have zero. That's because they're on the blackjack. Plus four resolve. These are all really good. I think I might be picking up all of these, but I'm going to leave it there for now after I sell a few things and then we head on. So what's coming up next for the playthrough? Well, I would do more sort of missions where like, you know, there's con no contracts. Um, sorry, where there's uh, no flashpoint. Uh, but they're all low skull. I'll still do the missions. They're just not worth recording because there's just I'm not offering anything interesting with that really. Um, so I know you might think otherwise, but like, to me, it's just a bit like meh. I'd rather just do it. Come home from one of those things I can just throw up when I um, come home from work. Just do like a couple of missions on a planet like really quickly and then go to bed sort of thing. You know, I can do that or, you know, another time. So I'm going to go take this route, though. I'm going to go here and then probably there and then probably down there. Although I don't know why we can't do that. Maybe that's just quicker. That probably is it. Um, but yeah. So next thing's probably going to be the next uh, campaign flashpoint, which is hunting season. So engagement length, long. That'll be quite good. That'll be quite good. Indeed. And also another flashpoint's appeared over here, in case you haven't noticed. But uh, the Draconis Combine want us for something. I've never heard of this one. The Red Hunt. 39 days until we get there. I might not make it in time. In all seriousness, because of the way I'm going to be doing individual jumps. Oh no, no, for 149 days it expires, and that's fine. So we'll be able to do this, then we'll go back and do that. Hopefully, we get part three of the flashpoint and we can carry on doing that. So I guess that's what we're doing for the foreseeable future. We also have stuff here for uh, House Liao, who can go and screw themselves. House Diner has. Ah, oh, boo hoo. So that you sort it out yourself, honestly. Yeah, alright, well, I'm going to leave it there anyway for now, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.